Welcome to Back to the Bible. Week 4, Love. Day 26, Small Beginnings. Collect yourself before God. Psalms chapter 67, verses 1 and 2. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. That your way may be known on earth. Your saving power among all nations God's promise for today Luke chapter 2 verses 7 And she gave birth to her first born son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn Consider today's truth beginnings most beginnings are small the world's richest company started in a garage with two employees giant cedars begins as a tiny seeds the fraser river moves 1375 kilometers but starts as a dripping spring in the rockies we all arrive in this world Weighing little and knowing less, our arrival is casual for celebration. But within a small circle of relatives and friends, most of the world didn't even know that you showed up. Jesus arrives. The arrival of God into our world went unnoticed. The talk of the town was about political decision. A census was decreed. and lives got disrupted since joseph was from bethlehem he had to be registered there it was an onerous four day journey for anyone more so for a pregnant woman bethlehem was bustling with activities so no one noticed when a young woman delivered her first born and laid him in a feeding trough the messiah had come but the world spun as normal god could not let his son arrive without celebration a host of angels were sent to shepherds outside of bethlehem they announced good news of great joy about a savior's born the shepherds ran to find mary joseph and the baby They reported to his parents all the angels said of a child. Then the shepherds left and all was still. Heaven was loud with praise, but Bethlehem was silent with the sounds of the night. The day of small things. The arrival of Jesus went largely overlooked. God arrived in a small town. that struggled to host him his coming was humbly subtle it seems to be the way of god he leaves the prom and ceremony for those who seems to need it god comes in a burning bush a whispered voice a manger he can throw lightning bolts and shake the ground with his presence but He prefers to arrive in hidden ways to unremarkable people. That doesn't mean that his purpose was intent as small. They are not yet his eternal vast plans have modest beginnings. Jesus chose a dozen men to unfold a great kingdom. The spirit fell to just 120 in an upper room and flowed to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and the remote parts of this world. We are cautioned not to misinterpret small beginnings. Zechariah 4:10. It is the wisdom of God to start small. Small beginnings allow time to grow and to grow strong and deep. They require patience, a fruit that God grows in us. 
they testify to the presence and power of God. No one else can make something so great from something so small. Creation begins with a word. God comes as a baby. Eternal life begins with a yes to Jesus. Receive God's promise. Review the things that seem small in your life. Too small to be one of any great effects. If God can feed a crowd with five loaves and two fish, could he utilize what seems meager to you? We often wait until we can offer God something great. Large numbers, serious capacity, significant visions. But if God often begins with the small things in hidden places, give that to Him now. Watch what He will do with your obedience. Reflect with God. Consider the truth of Luke chapter 2 verses 7 and respond to this teaching with prayer. God bless you.